Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into this video, I just want to say I know I do have a little bit of a little bit of a new hairstyle going on. I still don't know whether I like it or not. I've been wearing it like this for a few days and I kind of like it and I kind of don't at the same time. Like, I don't know. It started off like this and I feel like I look like a bit of an egg. So then I kind of moved part of my ponytail to the side and then I actually kind of liked it. So, I don't know, just... I feel like it's something new, you know? I've been trying to look for a new hairstyle for ages now and I feel like I've found one, so... Um, yeah, if you don't like it, please let me know. If you like it, please let me know because I still don't know what to think of it. I mean, it looks quite good in selfies, but I'm not so sure in real life. I don't know. I have days where I like it and then I have days where I don't, so I don't know. Anyway, in today's video I am going to be talking about 18 things I love about Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, because about two weeks ago now I had my 18th birthday and we're in 2018 so I thought why not do 18 things I love about Pleasure Beach. It was just one of those sort of spare of the moment ideas that kind of just popped into my head. I wasn't even like thinking about YouTube, wasn't thinking about videos, wasn't thinking about filming. It just popped into my head when I was doing something. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I also want to apologise for how dark it is. I mean, I have like my light on, but it's not really doing anything. Um, and I mean, it's like 9 o'clock at night time. I never usually film this late. Um, See, so yeah, I'm sorry about how dark it is, but there's not really... I speak. <laughs> There's not really a lot I can do about that. This is why I need filming lights. I need like studio lights and then it will make it a whole lot brighter. Um, but I'm on a spending ban. I can't spend any more money because <laughs> I've spent quite a lot, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I need to save. Anyway, let's go. So the first thing I love about Platball Pleasure Beach, most of you can probably guess what I'm about to say um, but I love the big one it's my favourite thing about Pleasure Beach I love it so much like it's actually ridiculous how much I love the big one like I'm actually obsessed um, so yeah I just love the big one just because like it was my first like big coaster that I've done um, and I just love the layout I love the coaster in general like I don't know I just love it I love how it goes like across the whole park and um, the operations on it are really good um, and I forgot to put my phone on silent <laughs> um, yeah I don't know I just love the big one I feel like I don't really need to explain because I swear to god in every single video I mention the big one um, so yeah I think you guys know how much I love the big one so I don't need to go on about it um, <clears throat> number two is Icon. I freaking love Icon. Tr don't worry, there isn't like all of these 18 things aren't just rides. I've only got like three rides on here actually. Um, so yeah, it does, you know, I do talk about other stuff apart from the rides. Um, but yeah, number two, Icon. Oh god, I freaking love Icon as well. Icon and Big One are just my babies and like they both mean so much to me because I both had I had like a fear of them both um but I sort of managed to get over that fear and I am so glad and I'm like, so grateful that I actually did and um, because like I probably would have regretted it if I didn't get over that fear um so yeah, and I just love Icon in general. I love... It's not, like, as scary as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot more scary and a lot more intense. But it's actually not. I, f I feel like Icon is just fun. Like, I don't know. Do, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just fun, you know? There it is, look. On my door. Where is it? Here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just love it. I love Icon. It's amazing. Ride it if you haven't. And also, it's very different as well for the UK and it's a very different coaster for me like I'm used to riding stuff like the big one and um, like the wooden coasters so obviously Icon was like this brand new massive thing like I've never ridden anything like Icon before and I'm actually wearing a t-shirt with Icon on it <laughs> um, yeah I've never ridden anything like Icon before so obviously I was petrified 
um, and every time I go on it I always feel amazing every single time I come off it I'm just like wow like I actually did that <laughs> um, and it always reminds me of the very first time that I rode it and having that feeling when I came off like shit I've just done it I've just done my first Mac Mega Coaster um, and I was so petrified but like I did it and it will always be like a proud moment for me that's the same with the big one as well just because the big one was like my first big coaster if I didn't go over my fear of the big one I wouldn't be riding Icon now so yeah the big one is to thank for all of the rides that I ride today because I won't be riding things like Rage or Millennium or Icon or Infusion just all of my favourite rides um, so yeah I still can't believe that like I've actually done Icon that's something I never thought I would ever say I never thought I'd ever say that sentence but I have so there you go <laughs> Uh, the third thing I love about Pleasure Beach is the location. Um, <clears throat> that might sound a little bit weird, but I just love like where it's based. Um, so obviously it's in Blackpool, hence the name. Um, and it's just like right next to the beach, which is amazing because I love the beach. I mean, I prefer going to Pleasure Beach than actually going on the beach. Um, but I do love the beach and if I can go on the beach in the evenings I always will um, and I feel like the beach just looks amazing like every time you look at it it just looks so nice and it's so like picturesque like I don't know I just love it um, <clears throat> so yeah and you get like amazing views of the beach um, so yeah I love the fact that it's right next to the beach um, because you can pretty much see the beach from anywhere in the park um, you can see it obviously you can see it from like the big one you can see it when you go on Sky Force I feel like Sky Force is the main sort of ride you can see the beach from uh, also Infusion as well um, so yeah also, I mean like the location it's kind of great because like it's in Blackpool, it's a tourist place um, and like you've got the beach there and stuff, it's amazing but then with it being by the beach also like you've got the sea and it means most of the time it's always very windy at Pleasure Beach so it means like the big one may not be open um, or like other certain rides may not be open because of the wind um, so that kind of sucks but I mean most of the time they are open and I just love the location um, so yeah I just I don't know I love how Blackpool is like set out like it's just sort of one big street really like you've got Pleasure Beach on this I feel like for me personally Blackpool starts with Pleasure Beach like that to me is Blackpool that's the start of Blackpool and then the end of Blackpool is the tower even though it's not because it carries on further than the tower because you've got like North Pier and then you've got like the other stuff sort of down the end but to me it sort of finishes at where the tower is and that's just how I see it personally like I don't know um, but yeah the location uh, number four is the food now I really love the food at Pleasure Beach and like I never hear anyone talk about it I feel like it's very underrated um, one thing I will say though is that you do have to wait quite a while sometimes, not all the time, I didn't have to wait that long last time, um, but sometimes you will have to wait quite a long time for your food, uh, especially if it's busy, um, but I mean, you know, you could, like, that <laughs> That could happen anyway, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I love the food, I usually go to FY4, um, which is near the fountains, um, and yeah I just love sitting there and usually most of the time the dancing water what is it called? dancing water fountain show is on um, <clears throat> so we get to like eat our food and we can watch that at the same time and even if it's not on we can just like watch the fountains anyway we can just watch the world go by we usually sit upstairs I feel like not a lot of people know this I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my phone on silent because <laughs> this is annoying me Okay, um, oh, I've gone a bit brighter. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I feel like not a lot of people know this, but you can actually sit upstairs. Um, so on FY4, you like get food and all that. And then like there's these stairs, there's two stairs. There's like one sort of near where Impossible is. And then the other one is near, it's like opposite river caves. Um, and you can go up those stairs and you can sit on the seats upstairs. Like whenever we go, nobody is sat upstairs like at all. It's literally just like me and whoever's with me um, that are sat upstairs. Everyone just decides to sit downstairs. I feel like not a lot of people know about it or like people know about it but they think that they can't like sit up there. Um, so yeah, like you can definitely sit upstairs which is what we tend to do and I kind of like the fact that not a lot of people know about it just because it means it's a bit more quiet. We can have a bit more private time, we can just sort of chill and relax um, and it's just nice, you know? Um, and like every time we sit upstairs it's like the big one is literally right above it so like we're sat here the big one is literally like here and um, so we can always like watch the big one go by and you can hear it and stuff and yeah I don't know it's just nice and um, <clears throat> also just love the food in general I usually have uh, chicken strips and chips just because I am unhealthy um, but they do taste really nice. They're always so fresh, like they are never cold. They're always super fresh. The drinks are always really fizzy and nice. Um, so yeah, just the food, it's nice. Also they do like um, Tango Ice Blasts, like not at FY4, but in other places in the park they do like Tango Ice Blasts, do slush puppies. Um, they do like a variety of food. Uh, they have a pizza kitchen and um, they have like a buffet and stuff so you can go in there if sort of fast food isn't really your thing and um, then you can go in there or they have food near infusion that's sort of more like a fast food place as well um, that's quite a nice place to sit down and eat as well because you can just sort of watch the world go by and you can watch infusion and sort of big dipper as well and um, so that'd be a really nice place to sit and just like watch roller coasters go by and stuff um, I've not actually ever had any food from there, I don't think. The only place I've got food from is FY4. Um, but that's just because I like it and I like to stick to what I know. Um, and I always think, like, every time I go I'm not gonna, like, I never get this sort of food back home. Like, obviously here in Derby, like, we have, like, McDonald's and KFC, we have, like, chip shops, we have food like we have fast food restaurants and stuff and we can always like get a takeaway and stuff um but the food isn't as good as pleasure beach food so that's why i always go to the same place and i always make the most of it um whilst i've got the chance <laughs> number five is heritage oh i don't know if this is the right word i think it is but um yeah heritage slash sort of history of the park um, so the park has been open for, how long has it been open for? Like, over 120 years, because I know they had their 120th anniversary, but I'm not sure when it was. I think it was 2016, I want to say, or it might have been last year. I don't know, but basically, <laughs> it's just a really old park, but like, you can't really tell that it's that old. When I first discovered Pleasure Beach, I just thought, oh my god, like this is so modern and this is so new. Um, like this, surely this couldn't have been here for that long. And um, like it, like personally, I thought that it was like a brand new park, and I thought it would like just been built and stuff. Um, but no, it's it's been there for years and decades. Um, so I was really shocked when I found out how old it actually is. Um, because it's just like to me like it's just so fresh and so modern like Icon is like the most modern coaster I've ever ridden and I feel like it's the most modern coaster like in the UK right now um, and yeah it's just so like modern and fresh and you have like infusion um, but then you also have like the wooden coasters as well because like that's kind of like the heritage of the park. They have like the wooden coasters that have been there for ages. Um, they have like the water fountains which have been there for ages. They have certain rides which have been there for ages like Revolution and the big one. 
and steeplechase and all the wooden coasters. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like every time I walk in, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but like, I just have this thing in my head that sort of, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, I just love the history of the park and I love the heritage and every, that's what I was going to say. Every time I walk in the park, it always reminds me of that documentary that they did. Um, I think it was in like 1998 or something like that. It was in the like late sort of 90s. Um, yeah, I, it always reminds me of that. Um, especially like when I go on the big one and like when I go on avalanche and stuff like it just reminds me of that documentary which takes me back to um, like the heritage and stuff um, and also every time I walk down the new well it's not really new anymore but every time I walk down the bridge um, where sort of like Big Dipper is and Icon is every time I walk across that bridge it always reminds me of Tom Sawyer Bridge and I, I was so like devastated when they got rid of Tom Sawyer Bridge I was like what? what are they doing? because like I, I, it sounds so stupid like it's just a bridge but like I don't know like I used to love Tom Sawyer Bridge like I just love walking down there it was very picturesque Um. Yeah, I just loved Tom Sawyer Bridge, but obviously now that's gone, which is so sad, but I mean, Icon kind of makes up for it, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, every time I walk across the new bridge, it just reminds me of Tom Sawyer Bridge, um, and it just, I don't know, just brings back a lot of, like, history and heritage, and then my parents always tell me about, like, when they when they went when they were kids and they used to take my brothers when they were kids and stuff. When I wasn't even born, like, they used to take my brothers with them and stuff so yeah it's like it has a lot of heritage you know like it's I feel like it's just very special uh number six is merchandise now as you can see I do love the merchandise <laughs> um I if you know me and you've been watching this channel ever since I started then you'll know that I love merchandise every time I get every chance I get to do a haul I will do one every chance I get to show you guys some sort of merchandise I will show it to you guys every time I get the chance to even buy some new merchandise that I don't already own I will buy it <laughs> um, oh, it was so funny last time I went to Blackpool in like only a few weeks ago I went a couple of weeks ago for my birthday and we were walking through the shop and I was like what can I buy that I haven't already got yet and I was walking past and I was like, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. Like, I just looked at everything and I was like, I've got all of it. And obviously not every single thing, but I've got everything that I wanted. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Maybe that, at that point, I knew how obsessed I actually was with merchandise and with Pleasure Beach and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a lot of merchandise. Um, but I mean, I'm proud of it, you know, I like it. I like it a lot um so yeah i just love the merchandise i love all of their t-shirts that they do uh they do snow globes which oh, are my holy grail i just love snow globes so much um they do uh, like fridge magnets stationery mugs they do the most amazing mugs ever don't even get me started um <laughs> Yeah, they just do amazing merchandise. Like this t-shirt, uh, it's actually a t-shirt dress because I bought it in like a bigger size so I could wear it as a t-shirt dress. Um, but this t-shirt was £15. So like it's reasonably, <laughs> reasonably priced merchandise as well. It's not like £50 for a jumper or it's not like £30 just for a t-shirt. Like it's decent priced, good quality merchandise and I love it and I've pretty much bought everything, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of merchandise, number seven is the Icon Shop. Now, they have done the most amazing job with the Icon Shop. Like, I walked in and I was like, what? Honest to God, knock me out. Like, the Icon Shop is amazing. Like, I, can you stop? Thank you. I just, I love like the colour scheme, rose gold slash gold slash copper 
is my favourite colour on this planet. Like, nothing can ever beat that colour for me. And obviously, Icon, the theme, is rose gold slash gold slash copper. Do you realise how happy I was when I discovered that? Um, so, yeah, obviously going into the shop, like, the doors have gold on them. And, like, they have gold mugs. They have... Oh, my God. I know one thing I do want that I haven't bought yet. Um, they have this, like, water bottle. And it's just gold. Like, it's a metal gold slash copper water bottle. And, like, I'm so tempted to buy it. But I'm like, when would I use it? Like, I've got enough water bottles as it is. Like, I would never really use it. So that's why I haven't bought it yet. But I might just buy it and just put it on display. Just because. Like. It's a rose gold freaking water bottle. Are you hearing this? Um, so yeah, I might have to make a purchase next time I go. Um, they also have a coat that I want. I mean, okay, right. When I said the merchandise is reasonably priced, everything else apart from this coat that I want is reasonably priced. And this coat, <laughs> this coat is £90. Well, it's not £90. It's £89.95, and pence, but just round it up, you know. Um, yeah, this coat that I want is £90. And, like, I could have got it, like, with my birthday money, but I was like, yeah, no. Because <laughs> I would have been skint otherwise, and, I mean, I'm not going to wear it in this weather, am I? I mean, we're having, like, a heat wave right now, like, I'm not going to want to put on this massive coat, but I just feel like it will be the most useful thing, like, for when it snows, and uh, for the winter, like, I just, I really want this coat so bad, but... Like, it's £90. Like, I can't justify paying £90 just for a coat. And, like, I love the coat and everything. I love, like, the material and I love the whole theme. Like, it has, I think it has, like, icon, like, sort of there. And then on the back of it, it has icon. And I'm like, God. every time I go in, I'm like, I, I go up to the coat and I give it a hug. Because I'm like, I will purchase you one day. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I've asked my parents for it as a Christmas present. So, we'll have to see what happens. But... I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, anyway, that wasn't the point. See, oh, this is my problem with videos. I just, I talk about one thing and then I just go off topic. Anyway, my point was, I love the icon shop. There you go. <laughs> also in the icon shop, they sell different merchandise. Like they sell like the big one merchandise and like Valhalla merchandise. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it's an icon shop, but yeah. Anyway, oh, my battery's flashing. Brilliant. Okay, number eight is late night riding events. I freaking love the late night riding events. Not that I go to them very often, <laughs> um, just because I'm poor, but <laughs> like I do love them and I love to watch videos of them on YouTube. Every time there's a late night riding event, there's also, there is like always loads of YouTube videos on it as well, like vlogs and stuff. And so I love like watching them and seeing other people like enjoy themselves at the events. Um, I also love seeing like all the updates on like Twitter and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just like, I've been to one actually. I've been to one late night riding event and that was last year on closing weekend. Uh, it was 4th of November. Um, and that was honestly like one of the best days of my entire life um, so yeah I'm very tempted well I do want to do another late ride yeah. <laughs> speaking too fast calm down <laughs> I do want to do another late night riding event it's just sort of like getting down there and having the money and stuff um, it's not as easy as just let's just nip down to Blackpool like I can't do that you know um, <clears throat> so yeah but hopefully I'll be doing the one in November um, fingers crossed um, so yeah I just and I feel like it's very unique like what other park in the UK does that like they have like I swear that how many did they have this year like eight or ten they have like eight or ten late night riding events this year and if you don't know what they are the park opens at 10 a.m. and they close at 10 p.m. no other park in the UK does that well I mean they might do that in like on their last day or something like that but they don't do it as much as Blackpool Pleasure Beach does 
like Pleasure Beach, I feel like are so committed like to their opening times. Like their opening and closing times are like on point. They're so much better than any other park in the UK, like in my opinion. Um so yeah, and obviously for them to have the late night riding events. It's good publicity for them as well because like they get so busy, like ridiculously busy. Um so yeah, obviously it's good like publicity for them and like it's just it's just a good thing to do really, isn't it? Like it's good for us, it's good for them because they get loads of money from it. Um and yeah, I can't wait to ride Icon in the dark, like I feel like it's going to be even more scary in the dark. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> number nine, halfway through. <laughs> on-ride photos. I freaking love that on-ride photos. No, I mean, <clears throat> every single park in the UK does on-ride photos. But I feel like I just love the Pleasure Beach ones because I feel like they're very unique. Like, they come in, like, a booklet sort of form. Um, and then they give you like details about the rides and facts about the park and um, and then you have like the photo now I just love how the photo has like theming around it like with the icon on my photo it has like a silhouette of icon at the top and then it has like the logo at the bottom and then it's also like a it's not a really small photo but it's smaller than your standard on ride photo um and for me, obviously that's good because I have an on-ride photo wall here um, and it's good for me because if I stick up the on-ride photo and like I take it out the booklet and I stick it up on my wall, it doesn't take up a lot of space um, which obviously leaves room for more on-ride photos and stuff. Um, so yeah, I love like the size, it's not too small but it's not too big, it fits perfectly on my wall. Um, I don't know, it's just very convenient, um, unlike other on ride photos from different parks that come in like this massive frame and it's like really big and stuff. Um, I just love how sort of like, it's quite simple, like I don't know, like it's just very simple and very unique I feel like, um, and I just, I love the size, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, number 10 is the park layout. Um, I just feel like everything, now that Icon is like open and stuff, I feel like everything just sort of like fits into place perfectly. Um, <clears throat> like, I don't know, it's just everything just sort of fits together really nicely and everything is like in the right place and like I wouldn't, if I was like in charge of Pleasure Beach and they asked, like they asked me like, would you want to move any rides? Like, I would say no, because I feel like everything is just perfect the way it is. Um, like, I wouldn't want to move any rides. Like, I just love how everything is laid out. Um, I also love how it's not like a huge park. Like, you can easily get from one, from one ride to another. Um, it's like with Alton Towers, when, don't get me wrong, I still loved Alton Towers, but when I went, like, we just, there's so much walking involved and like honest to god I hate walking and I hate running and I hate any form of physical exercise apart from dance I love dance but apart from that I hate any form of physical exercise <laughs> so obviously a lot of walking for me was like <laughs> oh I hated it like I couldn't go on any longer <clears throat> so yeah, but, and like with Alton Towers, it's all like hills and like there's like this massive field in the middle of the park and it's like, oh, just so much walking involved. Um, and like, I feel like you can easily get lost at Alton Towers, whereas at Pleasure Beach, it's completely different because it's not like hills and you don't have to do a lot of walking and <clears throat> it's very easy to like, find somebody if you know what I mean <laughs> like say that you're in the park and like your best mate has gone like out of the park just nipped the car or something to get a jacket and then they come back like it's easy to sort of like spot each other I guess that doesn't make any sense but <laughs> um 
yeah, like, I feel like you can't really get lost in the park, you know? Like, it doesn't take you... Say, if you were on Icon and you wanted to then go on flying machines, obviously they're completely opposite ends of the park, but if you wanted to go on flying machines after you've been on Icon, like, it wouldn't take you very long. Um, so, like, it wouldn't take you very long to get there. Um, so, yeah, I like the layout like it a lot and you can always take shortcuts as well if you know it like if you know the shortcuts take them uh number 11 is infusion now freaking love again i never thought i would be saying this sentence i love infusion i have ridden infusion something i never thought i'd say but i'm saying it because i love it you know and infusion it gets so much hate like it gets so much hate and it gets so slugged off it's actually ridiculous like, i feel sorry for infusion and you know i'm going crazy when i feel sorry for a roller coaster <laughs> i'm actually going insane but you know like it just i love infusion and it just gets slugged off so much and i feel sorry for it you know it deserves so much more love like just spread love not hate you know um <laughs> So yeah, I feel like I don't need to ramble on about infusion because I know a lot of people are just going to slate me anyway. Um, but I love infusion and it deserves a lot more love. So uh, yeah, infusion. <laughs> uh, number 12 is operations. Now I feel like Pleasure Beach have definitely improved with their operations. I feel like a few years ago, they weren't too great. A lot of rides kept on breaking down and they only had rides on like one train and they used to close rides early. Um, fast forward a few years and their operations are like on point. Like, I mean, let's be honest, Pleasure Beach are just on point with everything right now. Like they are at such a good stage, like, it's ridiculous um but yeah i just love that operations especially the main one i like is icon because there is literally no messing around with icon at all like you every time i like see the icon queue i'm like holy crap that is a massive queue i'm not waiting in that but then you actually go and wait in the queue and the queue is actually so much shorter than it looks um, like say if the queue started at like the door like you'd probably be waiting 30 to 35 minutes which isn't that bad um, and most of the time Icon is on three trains hence why the queue is normally like it goes down quite quickly um, so yeah like I just love the operations because most of the time everything will be on two trains um, there is no messing about like you get on the coaster you ride the ride you get off next people get on and it's the same process like all the time like obviously throughout the day um, and yeah there's just I feel like there's just no messing about you know they're, they're not like waiting around and they just once everybody's like in their seat and they've like checked the restraints and stuff like you're off and then like as soon as you're off you're back into the station again and you're off like as in like you get off the coaster um so yeah the operations are really good and queues may look long but most of the time you don't actually have to wait that long so if your queue looks massive just wait in it anyway and you might be surprised at how short or like at how little time you had to wait for the coaster or hot ride or whatever ride you're queuing up for uh number 13 is now, I feel like I've been saying this like throughout this whole video, um, but number 13 is the fact that the park is so picturesque. Like, you can take so many amazing Instagram photos there, and like, especially like with the beach there as well, and the sky always looks so pretty. Um, and like, I feel like just in general, like, the park is just so picturesque. Like, you can take the most amazing photos at Pleasure Beach. Um, they have like amazing photo opportunities I guess um, especially like near Icon just because there is so much going on like you've got like 
you can pretty much get like Avalanche, Big Dipper, Infusion, Big One and Icon and possibly Steeplechase and possibly Grand Prix all in one photo. Um, like I don't know, I just feel like there are so many good photo opportunities and you can just take a photo at Pleasure Beach and guaranteed it will be a good one just because like it's just so picturesque, like I don't know, I just love it. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like the coasters look amazing like in photographs um, and yeah, it's just a very picturesque park and it's just nice and it's just a nice place to take photographs. <laughs> Um, number 14 is the views. Now what I mean by this is like the views from the big one, for example. Um, so like big one, going up the lift hill and you get amazing views of um, like all the illuminations if they're on. Um, get amazing views of the beach, get amazing views just over Blackpool. Like if you go on the big one, you can see like over the Blackpool Tower, like it's amazing. You get to see the whole park, like it's just, the views are incredible. Um, and then you get to sort of see like the ocean and you can see like all the piers and stuff. Like, I don't know, I just love the views. So that's one thing I always sort of, like I never take for granted is the views. Um, like every single time I go on the big one, I always just, I always wish I could just get my phone out or get my camera out and like take a photo or like film it. But obviously I'm not allowed, so I'm not gonna do that. And I never really take my phone with me anyway, like on rides. Um, but yeah, part of me wishes I could just get out my camera and just like take a photo of it because like it's amazing. Um, also the views on Ice Blast are really good as well just because like it is so high and no matter, I feel like no matter where you sit on Ice Blast like you get amazing views anyway like you can be sat on like the front side and you get amazing views of like the beach and the ocean and the piers um, or you can be sat sort of facing like the Pleasure Beach way and you get amazing views of the park. Like you can see all the way where like steeplechase is and that's literally like the opposite end of Ice Blast. Um, and then you can sit sort of where Valhalla is and you get amazing views just across Blackpool. Um, and then you can sit the other side, <laughs> like facing, sort of facing like the Pleasure Beach entrance and you get amazing views of just like Blackpool itself, like the tower and you can see all the piers and like you can just see everything about Blackpool and um, which I love and you also get amazing views on like flying machines, you can see the beach, you can see you on flying machines you can pretty much see up to Icon which is amazing um, Avalanche as well you get amazing views like I feel like because the coasters are quite tall like you get really good views also on Big Dipper as well can't forget Big Dipper because you also get amazing views on that as well um, so yeah I just love the views and I always just sort of take them in like I never take them for granted and I always make the most of it so obviously that's something we also don't get here in Derby is like we don't have a beach um, and we don't really have any like theme parks near us or anything um, so obviously like when I'm on a coaster I always just take in the views because I know that I'm like that is the only chance I'm going to get to look at this view it's the only chance that I'm going to get to look at the beach and stuff and um, so I always like just take that moment <laughs> um number 15 is memories now I have so many memories at Pleasure Beach and like every time certain rides have certain meanings to me um, so like the big one, it was my first ever sort of big coaster, so obviously that's really special to me. Icon, my first Mac Mega Coaster, and I remember how scared I was to go on that, so obviously that's very special to me. Infusion, it was my first SLC, I was petrified on Infusion, I was almost to the point of crying. Uh, when I first went on Infusion, but obviously now I've done it, like I'm super proud of myself for doing that. Um, so obviously Infusion is very special to me. Uh, the water, like just, I feel like every single ride at Pleasure Beach has some sort of meaning to me and they're all special to me in their own way. 
um, because like Pleasure Beach is the place where I got over some of my biggest fears um, and every time I like go on those rides it always reminds me of like the day that I got over my fear of them and like the feeling that I had when I came off them and stuff like they just every time I go into Pleasure Beach it just brings back amazing memories for me and I also love just looking back on my vlogs as well even though my vlogs are utter shit like I love just sometimes not all the time I hate watching myself back but sometimes I'll just like take a trip down memory lane and I'll have a look at some of my Pleasure Beach vlogs and it would just like bring back amazing memories for me and just it will make me like really happy that like so many things have happened at Pleasure Beach and it's just like makes my heart so happy um so uh yeah just it always brings back amazing memories for me and it's a place that I will always treasure and I will always love like I'm never stop loving Pleasure Beach no matter what happens no matter like the decisions they make like I will always love them like no matter what and the, I will never ever ever forget the memories that I have created there even though some like most of my memories like most of the most special memories to me aren't captured on camera like I haven't vlogged them um, but I just know like in my head like I have amazing memories at Pleasure Beach so um, yeah, I'm gonna get emotional. Uh, number 16, there's always something to do. Um, now this doesn't really apply to me, just because obviously I'm sort of mainly on the rides, um, but for people like my mom who doesn't ride the rides, um, she there's always like something for her to do like she normally goes in the cafe and just like sits down and she can just relax and like have a cup of tea and have a drink and stuff or if she gets bored doing that she can go in the arcades some well most of the time I will ask her to vlog me when I'm on a ride and um, so she's got that to do like she just I always feel bad for my mom because like she never comes on the rides and like she's always like carrying around my bags and stuff or not my like yeah like my bag um and i always like feel sorry for her because i always feel like she gets bored and like she doesn't like being there and stuff but every time i ask her like are you okay like do you want me to take my bag do you want to go off and do something else like she's always like no no, no i'm fine i'm happy just watching the world go by and having my drink and stuff and i'm like okay <laughs> um so yeah, but like there's always something to do, you know, like you can ride the ride, you can go in the arcade, you can just sit down and relax, um, and they also have those like really annoying games that you can play, like those like basketball games where you just like, if you get, I don't know how it works, but if you like get a ball in one of the nets and you win this like massive teddy bear, or they've got that new game, which is like that chocolate game where you I don't know how it works but I feel like you have to guess a number and then if that number comes up you win this like massive chocolate bar I don't know but there's that and um, you can just walk around like that's another thing I love about Pleasure Beach the fact you can just sort of walk around and there's always something to look at um, <clears throat> so yeah there's always something to do I feel like you can never really get bored um, which is nice okay finally getting to the end <laughs> Number 17, opening and closing times. I feel like I've already mentioned this, but I just love that opening and closing times. Like, most of the time in the summer, they will be open at 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. Or they have like their late night riding events, 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. Um, in the winter, they open 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. Like, their opening and closing times are on point and I feel like they're the best in the UK uh, and the final one number 18 uh, this one might sound like a bit of a weird one to some people um, but number 18 is security slash safety and um, now every time I go into Pleasure Beach I always feel super safe um, and <clears throat> obviously these days it's a very scary world to live in and it's scary going to like a busy place because you never know what's going to happen um, and with sort of like things going on like close to home it's 
always scary going to like a touristy place um and like i get anxious like around a, like big groups of people and like being around a lot of people like that's one thing that can set my anxiety off um <clears throat> but every time i go into pleasure beach i always feel super safe um just because they have like bag checks and they have like metal detectors and i always see security walking around like there has never been a day where i've gone into pleasure beach and i've not seen security like i see them walking around all the time and they're mainly really friendly as well like they're always i always see them like talking to guests and just having like a laugh with them and stuff um and if there's a problem like it will get sorted out like really quickly um so yeah i just always feel super safe because like they always do a bug check and I mean, I feel like every park in the U well no, actually, not every park in the UK has a bag check, like, Adventure Island doesn't, Fancy Island doesn't, um, like, a lot of theme parks don't have bag checks, um, and they don't have metal detectors either, so obviously, sort of, that's a little bit scary, because, like, anything could happen, um, so, yeah, and also with me being, like, a massive Ariana Grande fan, um, and like with what happened in Manchester, it always sort of, uh, I don't know, like it makes me feel quite like anxious. Um, but with Pleasure Beach, you know, you're always gonna get your bag checked. You're always gonna have to go through the metal detectors. And like, it just makes me feel safe that like everyone's bag has been checked and you sort of know that like nothing bad is gonna happen, um, which makes me feel a bit more at ease and, a bit more calm and a bit more safe um so yeah that is 18 things that i love my camera just stopped recording um but yeah that is 18 things that i love about pleasure beach i could have gone on and on and on and on um but you know i had to stop at 18 and um, so yeah let me know 18 things you love about pleasure beach and um, is it the same as me is it different um let me know if you think I've missed anything out. Um, but like I said, I could just go on and on and on about Pleasure Beach. I could talk about Pleasure Beach for like days on end. Like, I just love it so much. I could talk about it for ages. Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I rambled on for so long. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, love you.